All right, because I'm going to show you um, some pictures. Have a look at this uh, and I'll tell you what they're about. It's Just Stop Oil, uh, who are protesting in London uh, throughout October. Um, at the weekend, you can see here motorists dragging protesters off the street. Uh, the question is, of course, should the public be taking matters into their own hands? Uh, the Queen's speech uh, in May proposed making locking on. That's when protesters actually sort of either glue themselves or lock themselves uh, to various items. Um, after the government failed to pass the measure earlier this year, they want to try and make it a criminal offence. Natasha, is it acceptable that uh, members of the public dragging protesters off, even if they are blocking uh, the roads? I can understand this frustration completely, and I'm sure our readers can too. You know, these are people trying to get to work. Um, you've not played the clip of uh, an ambulance which I think sorry a fire engine mm. which was earlier trying to get through I think people would be outraged about that saying exactly what are the police doing they're just standing there in many of these pictures unable to act and I think you know many people will say what are the government going to do about this where are you Sonia um I mean I agree with Natasha on the frustration but I would caution any member of the public sort of looking to engage like that because I think well, you're like putting assault, yourself at risk it, yeah of being accused of assault by um the protesters um, so, I mean, I, I think we have to be, I mean, I personally don't think those protesters are doing their cause any favours at all. In mm. fact, I think they're turning people off it. Um, but I think we have to be very careful about how we um, sort of look to police public protest. I think some of that stuff would just, you know, fall under the category of the police are able to move people on anyway. Um, but I think we've got to be very they careful. They don't, do they? They don't move them on. That's the whole point. The whole point is that they're, they're you know, they don't, they don't look very stuck there, to be fair. Um, you know, but at the end of the day you've had people padlocking themselves to things gluing themselves mm. to things police just stand there doing nothing and it's a bit unclear what powers do they have can they move them on um, and these people are disrupting not just you know people getting to, getting every day to work but also vital services in this country like ambulances and fire engines do they need more powers or do they need to be able to protest more robustly than natasha I think, you know, at the end of the day, you know, it's quite unclear what, what the police's powers are in this. I think it would be, it would be very helpful to, to, for, them, for them, I think, to, to, to know whether they could or not remove these people because there is a lot of confusion about what they can no, and can't I think, do. I think it's more clear than, than mm -hmm. sometimes the police even want to admit. Well, they just I, I think they that have then? the powers and they're... they're well, and they I mean, really like, a police officer police... It will often be making a judgment about whether they're going to make the peace worse, as it were, if they, if they, if they act. But, um, I, I mean, you know... The truth is, if you, I, I completely agree with what you just said about um, this is not the that's not helping the cause. But I also understand. I have kids in in schools in the Ronda who say to me the thing that they worry most about in their lifetime is climate change. And, I and so disputing that, no one's disputing uh, no, no, the idea of the, the protest. Point. It's well, about the way that they're no, doing well, it. Well, it is slightly the point. But does in that the, justify no, that? It, that of course, it, it doesn't justify it doesn't. that action. But I think we have to. You know, every time the government steps back from its commitments on climate change, for instance, by telling the, the King Charles that he can't go to COP27, I think it just makes people more desperate, more angry. Um, and, and I want us to tackle climate change because I think it's the single biggest danger to humanity. The, the, the topic is not the issue. People should not have their lives disrupted Agreed. by self-appointed demonstrators mm. who think they have a God-given right to glue themselves to tarmac and prevent people from going to work, ambulances, uh, getting through businesses, uh, getting so on with their, with their So how would you tackle there it? There are many, many ways of protesting, demonstrating yeah. freely, Agreed. without violence, without uh, uh, disruption, that are far more effective than the counterproductive we, we all measures agree on that. That, they are, that they are bringing in. So why did you not support the measures in the bill which would have made it even easier for police to, to deal with it? Because I don't the think they do do that. Have, the I police, think they make it more difficult the for the police to do their job. have yeah. more powers, but the frustration of me and my constituents is that the police seem more concerned at times with giving them water and asking about their welfare than moving them out of the way and letting people get on with their lives. And that's where people are really frustrated. I mean, it. do you think that's true, Sonia? I mean, Liz Truss has said in her conference speech, I will make sure that militant activists such as Extinction Rebellion, separate to this particular group, are not able to disrupt ordinary people who work hard and do the right thing and go into work. If you think they're not doing their cause any good, do you think there'll be more public sympathy for, for toughening up uh, the, the law on this? Possibly, but I think the pro I'm not sure that the issue is the law I think it's genuinely very difficult when you've got people coming and gluing themselves like gluing their hands to things 
that's something that's quite difficult for the police to deal with. And actually, we have seen the police sort of use different tactics. So I've heard, for example, you know, this week, the police were used spraying a special substance on onto these to sort of melt the glue and, and, and remove the protesters. Mm. But these aren't easy things. That, and I think it's wrong for the Prime Minister to suggest that there's a very simple legal lever that can be pulled. I think we should, as a society, be saying to people, this isn't the way to protest, though. Um, you know. How, how, I mean, well, what do you say in response to Sonia? Well, I think other countries look on and think, are we mad where we just don't um, remove them? And I'm not saying we should be violent towards them, but actually we've got to send out a, a, a message that this is completely uh, unacceptable. These are the ways you can make your uh, point. We are a free society. We have free uh, speech here, and you can make it much more effectively. This is not the way of doing it. What, and the priority, of the, police, the priority of the police must be to make sure that members of the public can go about their daily lives and business. And there's anybody standing in the way of, of that, then they need to be dealt with. And the penalties... So there's no answer. The penalties no need answer. to be I, I considered. No if, if, I were, if I were to go and demonstrate and create myself as a just stop the just stop the oil um, protesters, uh, I would probably get to remove rather more forcibly think, so, than so this lot this is about That's not right. It's double it, standard. Yeah, is it I, 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 do, I do you think we need to, to be to... careful about giving police indiscriminate powers. And that's because actually we've seen cases where the police have overstepped the mark yes. and interfered with people's free speech. Not asking for indiscriminate speech. powers. Um, Using so, you know, common sense is what we're asking The police are quite bad at making some of these judgment well, calls. Final word, sometimes. Natasha, on this to you. Mm, yeah, no, I... Argue good arguments on all sides, to be fair. But you know, <laughs> what is, what's completely clear is that the current system isn't working. Whatever is happening, it's not working right now. But at the end of the day, I think these guys, the Just Stop, stop All protesters, are not going to stop no matter what laws are in place. Uh, you know, they should be looking at exactly how, how they can do it in, in any way possible, to be fair.